I got a new toy today. So I thought maybe I would do just a quick unboxing video. Um, as you know, I do 3D printing and stuff like that, but it's always kind of annoyed me uh, that all I can make is plastic or variants of plastic with a little bit of other stuff in it. And so I've been getting really excited about the concept of working in textiles and woods and metals and getting into making your own uh, textiles Aside from being able to do it by hand, the machines, the robots that can do it are incredibly cheap, like even cheaper than 3D printing. For example, you can get a computerized embroidery machine, like this one that I just picked up for about $300, uh, that will allow you to create your own patches, your own you know, embroidery monograms, whatever. But to me, that's just fantastic. I mean, the, the fact that I could just you know, custom label my own clothing and stuff like that I think is really cool and I you know it's a it's a cheap tool that you could do like a business or something and make money off of it but for me it's more of an artistic expression um, so let's uh, let's pull this thing out of the box and see what we got um, I picked up the brother se 425 which is a computerized embroidery machine. It's got a four inch by four inch space, just like a 3D printer or a CNC machine. It moves it and it actually does the stitches. And my main goal is to do patches. So four by four should be okay. Um, what I'm hoping to do is to embed circuits into these patches and maybe do like a, a really limited run and just give them to my friends or sell a few. I don't know. I mean, I'm not like starting a business here. I'm just playing around. Um, and this is really, I've sewn before. I've, I've sewn occasionally, I've never been fantastic at it, um, but this is really, I'm going to say my first foray into, into this area. Uh, so this will be fun, it'll be a learning experience, I'm sure I'll do a horrible job at first and I'll get better and that's really my favorite part of learning any new skill is that transition from being just absolutely horrible to being okay. Um, so I'm super excited, let's rip this thing out of the box. Alright, let's see what we've got inside this. And this is, I mean, to have a robot at home that can create your, take your artwork and turn it into a textile, that is pretty freaking awesome. And I guess the next stage for me would be to get something to make my own custom fabrics as well. But this is a good first step. want to give a quick shout out to Balam Soto. He's an incredible artist that I just saw today posted on Facebook that he is doing electronics in patches as well and would like to maybe collaborate, which is super exciting. His artwork is incredible. Oh my goodness, look at this hefty operation manual. Oh well, it looks like only one of those is uh, Looks like only about half of that is, is for me, is in English, so there's that. Got some foam packing. So this is the CNC part of it, that's the carriage that moves around. And then all that's left in here is the machine, which lifts out with an easy handle. Now it's worth noting, I purchased this machine. Uh, this is not anything that brother gave me, so, you know, negative, positive, I can say whatever I want. Um, I purchased this machine because this is something I wanted to play with. So, not being sponsored by brother in any way for any of this. So let's look at what we have here. Okay, here's our machine. We have our stitches here, lots of pre-programmed stitches to be able to use. That's fantastic. Um, auto cutting. Boy, this looks fancy. I should drag my old machine in here and put it side by side with it and compare. My old machine is 
been around my family as long as, as long as I've been interested in sewing. So you know, young teenager. We got some extra bobbins here, a couple unwound ones, a full one, a pouch of some kind. We'll get into that. Our foot pedal, power, USB, because this connects to your computer as well. And this is the frame. So we have that much space to work with. I should be able to do plenty of patches in that amount of space. Uh, one of my designs that I'm thinking of might take up that full width, I don't know. I didn't really want to go up to the next machine because it was gonna be a couple hundred dollars more and it only did embroidery. Uh, whereas this one does embroidery as well as sewing. And um, I liked that idea. My machine, my existing machine is a little bit old and it just, kind of is a pain in the butt, and I don't know if this machine will be any better, but I figured if I'm buying a new one, I might as well try out something that has some modernized stitching and, and some modern performance. So looking at this from a technical side, here's what I like. We have this big beefy connector here. That looks very nice. I mean, nice and sturdy. I'm looking in here, and I see actual metal gears metal teeth on the gears for this gantry that moves back and forth and it is rigid. I, I can barely move that. I mean just barely. And I can't see back in there to see if it's rack and, yeah that's rack and pinion. It looks like brass. So that looks like it'll be nice and sturdy. Uh, rack and pinion. That's the right word, right? Rack and pinion, where you get the gears with the, the teeth? Rack and pinion? I don't know. I feel like I get my, uh, my definitions swapped around. And that's really all there is to this sucker. This is the protective pouch that you can put over the machine to keep it nice and clean. Of course, it's got their branding, which I'm sure I'll be snipping off because that's what I do. Got this little container here full of, let's look at what this has. There, let's, uh, let's look closer at this. I didn't see anywhere on the box where it said what came with the sewing machine. Um, and I could have missed it. I have a really short attention span and don't look things over very closely. So this is kind of nice. Uh, it looks like it comes with a lot of the supplies you need to get started. Got some nice sharp scissors here. Not entirely positive what this tool is, but I'm sure I will figure it out. It looks like a punch of some kind. I'll bet that's in the instructions. Extra needles, fantastic. This is the embroidery foot. Now the, the foot for embroidery is different than the foot for um, your, your normal sewing. It actually kind of comes down on the fabric and holds it down and holds it steady so that it can you know go real fast to do the embroidery. Um, and you see here's where I'm showing my lack of knowledge. I'll bet that this is a very well known tool to people who sew all the time. I haven't the foggiest idea what that is. Looks like it might clip on as a foot of some kind to the machine. Oh, that's exciting. I get to learn some stuff. Another no idea. Another no idea. Oh, this is fun. This is uh, for holding different types of threads on the top of the machine. Little cleaning tool. more needles of some kind, different feet for different materials, different uses, and no idea what that is. And, uh, oh, that's, uh, that helps keep your thread from unwinding if you've got a big uh, roll of it on there. You slide that over it. Keep from making a mess. So lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Looks like you could get started right off of the bat. You could get started, um, you know, testing it out. I've ordered a whole bunch of different colors of material so that I could spit out uh, stuff and start working. I 
Well, I dug out my old machine, and it's not the machine I thought it was. I don't know where this one came from. This is not the one I grew up with, but it looks like my current sewing machine and my new sewing machine are um, both brother. We'll just compare them a bit here. You can see the one that I was currently using. Uh, very, very standard settings here. Um, nothing super fancy. It works well enough. I mean, it gets the job done. But that's it. That's, that's all there is to it. Simple, simple, cheap machine. This new one, newfangled, computerized, all these different kinds of stitches, all these different settings. Here we have a USB connection for hooking up to the computer. Now they use uh, proprietary software. Um, I'm going to mess with that a little bit, but, but then I'm going to be trying um, Embroider Modder, which is open source, cross-platform free, which could be pretty cool to be able to run this off like a Raspberry Pi or something um, at events. That would be neat. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe I won't do anything with it. Um, all kinds of, you can put in a card if you have designs there that you've purchased, etc. So there's the machine. This bit goes on, that comes off, this slides in, and that allows it to move that frame around and do the things. So, what am I going to do first? Well, it would be tempting to jump in and start working on all my custom designs and, and try to do my complicated circuit uh, patches that I'm thinking of, but that's not really what you do with a whole new thing that you know nothing about. Like you saw when I was digging through the, the accessories, I don't know enough about what's going on here to really jump into something complex. So I'm going to start simple. I'm going to start with the built-in designs, do some cutesy little, you know, whatever it's got, and follow the instructions until I'm comfortable with it, and then I'll start reaching out from there. <laughs> 